So Barcelona is one of the biggest teams in all of Europe. And today, we're going to be doing a challenge with them. We're going to be building the best past and present Barcelona team and seeing if we can go undefeated in qualifiers with the insane Barcelona squad. If you enjoy these challenge videos, make sure to hit that big old thumbs up, man, as it helps the channel grow. And get in the comments down below and let me know players that you think should be in Barcelona's best past and present team. Now, as always, every time I do these videos, I do have the live stream with me, so the boys are going to be helping me put the team together. So a lot of the picks you see are going to be coming from them because a lot of them are huge Barcelona supporters. So without further ado, let's go ahead and build our dream 11 of Barcelona. Let's start off with the goalkeeper position. Position. All right, so in goal, we have decided, and honestly, in FC24, there's not really any, like, legend Barca goalies, because otherwise, my boy Pinto would be here. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go with Ter Statue. Um, Ter, Ter Statue, because he built a statue outside my house. This guy has helped me absolutely dominate weekend league, pick up 19-1 and one like it's nothing. So I call him Ter Statue, because there's a statue outside my house for this guy. Big Ter Stegen, one of the best goalkeepers in world football. This guy is a stud. 106,000 coins. Welcome to the team. With Courtois being injured real life, I think he's the best goalkeeper in the world at the moment. I'm not going to lie to you. Absolutely love this guy, Big Ter Stegen. What a beast. What a monster. Welcome to the starting 11. At the right back position, we will be playing. All right, y'all. So the boys have picked Zambrota, as you guys can see. I mean, he's more of a Juve legend for sure. But he does have 85 games with Barcelona. All right, he picked up three goals with them as well. So Zambrota will be in the starting 11. I got one game with him. I'll play him for one, and then I'll actually buy him. But he's into the starting 11 at the right back position. Zambrota, one of the best, like, better left back, right backs in our game. You know what I'm saying? Absolute legend. But with that being said, who is playing the left back position? This is a crazy one because he's only 83 overall in this game. But it has to be Jordi Alba. You cannot do a Barcelona squad without Jordi Alba. He's got to play the left back position. So the beast from the MLS, from Inter Milan, Messi's friend, Big Jordi Alba, welcome to the starting 11. Welcome to the past and present Barcelona team. Who is going to be the starting center? No, 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 no. Let's just get it out the way. There's a center back that must be in this team. And if you don't put this in guy, this guy in every single Barcelona team, you are weird. He goes by the name of Puyol. This is one of the most iconic center backs in world football. 580. 593 appearances for this man. This guy is an absolute legend when it comes to Spanish football. He is Himothy. He is a beast. He is a monster. His hair was awesome. His personality was awesome. The way he carried himself on the pitch was awesome. Everything about Puyol was awesome. Yes, I'm glazing right now because he is one of my favorite center backs of all time. So the Barcelona legend, welcome to the team. If you're doing a past and present team, you got to have that boy Puyol. So welcome to the squad, lad. Look at that back line. It actually looks kind of terrible. I ain't gonna lie. That back line looks horrendous. That's okay. We got one position remaining. Who's it gonna be? All right, y'all. So let's keep it a full stack. Arrojo is a present player at Barcelona. He's one of the best center backs in world football at the moment. And if I'm being honest with you, Coleman could go into this position. A lot of players, Rafael Marquez probably deserves to be in this position. But the truth is, we need some present players. And Arrojo is probably one of Barcelona's best present player right now. So with Ter Stegen in the lineup, with Arrojo, that's two players from the present, two players from the, three players from the past. And uh, yeah, man, it's kind of looking juicy. So this is the back line we're going to go with here. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. It doesn't look the best, but we're going to do our absolute best to cook with it. We could take Zambrota out for Juan Cancelo, who is also a present player right now. Um, and that might be something that we mess around with. But in the meantime, in between time, this is the starting uh, starting 11 back line. And um, hopefully the front of the team looks way better. Because right now, that defense kind of looking slacking. All right. So the first midfielder we're going to drop in this team, we have to drop him in this team. He cannot not be in this team. The big boy, Xavi. Okay? Xavi, Iniesta, these are these guys, Biscuits. These are like, this is Barca. This is, like, this is Barca, bro. This is Barca, right? So there's no way we can go into a past and present Barcelona team without Xavi, bro. He's got to be in that starting 11. So big boy Xavi is going to be the first midfielder into the team. This guy was magical in real life. He played 767 games, bro. 767 games. That is just a crazy, absurd number that he played. Also, 133 caps for Spain. Just an absolute wonderful midfielder. And a player that's going to go beside him is a legend of football. Played for Barca for a hot minute. Goes by the name of Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre, bro. Yes, this man also played for Barcelona, if you don't know. I don't know how many games has he got for Barca. How many games did he have? He had a lot, man. I'm pretty sure he had a lot, right? 
Big boy, Yaya Torre, absolute stud, absolute monster, absolute beast, four star, four star, uh, medium, medium. He probably had like 200, yeah, 200 games. Big boy, Yaya, um, insane midfielder, bro, insane, insane midfielder. And the only reason he left Barca was because he kind of bumped heads, right? He bumped heads with Guardiola, I think. I think that's the story behind it. They Them two bumped a little bit of heads or something like that. Otherwise, who knows? He probably would have been there even longer, but... Yeah, man, big boy Yaya Torre, big boy Chavi. And I'm going to be honest with you, the back line's not really cooking, but the front looking juicy. This team is looking amazing. Let's see where we go next. All right, we're making a little bit of an adjustment, a little bit of a change of plan. We're going to be dropping them because we're going to change the formation up, and we're actually going to be bringing in some more present players. More present players, there's too many legends, all right? We're going to bring in my boy Frankie De Jong, all right? Well, another player that's at Barcelona right now, top, top player, 89 rated card in the game. Stunning midfield player, one of the better cards in FC24. High, medium, four-star, four-star. His stats, his ability are to the moon, to the roof. 89 overall, like I said. Unbelievable player. Um, an unbelievable card in the game as well. And the reason we did that is because the midfielder that's going to go beside Xavi and Frankie de Jong is a guy that just has to be in a uh, in a in a Barcelona past and present team. All right, the big boy Pe Pedri. Now I believe Pedri has a special card. He does. He has an 89 rated special card. So my boy Pedri is going to be in this midfield with Frankie de Jong and Xavi. Shout out to my little goat Gavi. Okay, I love my boy Gavi, but it's got to be the homie Pedri, man. Pedri going to be in this starting eleven. All right, so listen up, man. The boy Pedri's coming in for 131K. First of all, I got to tell y'all something. This is one of the coolest card designs in the game, by the way. Uh, I'm a big Pedri fan. I'm a big Pedri and Gavi fan. I think these are two awesome players that give everything for the Barcelona shirt, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but incredible players. They are in the team, or he's in the team. Gavi will be on the bench. He's got to be on the bench. High, high, four-star, four-star, 5'9", big Pedri card. Looks immaculate. Um, and that is going to be our midfield. I think it's a stunning midfield, if I'm being honest with you. Still, that Jordi Alba's kind of messing up my vibe a little bit, but, you know, that's the only card that's really in the game. The midfield looks incredible. With that being said, we got a cam position and two striker positions, and I'm pretty sure y'all kind of know where we're going with this one, but let me go ahead and just kick it right off, right? Let's get it out the way. There is no way that you could put a Barcelona team together without the one and only big boy, Cruyff, all right? Cruyff has to be in a Barcelona. When you talk tiki taka football, when you talk that style, you talk Cruyff. Cruyff has to be in a Barcelona team. 227 games played, 85 goals. Cruyff, Barca, it just goes well together. And you know what else goes well together with Barca? Dingo and Messi. All right, y'all. So the first one we're going to bring in is this beautiful, beautiful looking kind of is this card beautiful should i not say beautiful when i say this card is it beautiful looking it's the it's the it's the radioactive promo it was like a greenish oozy looking promo but let's talk let's talk about messi all right one of the greatest in football's history if not the greatest however you see football that's up to you but messi is that guy okay the beautiful man messi the beast himself the monster the machine i don't know why it won't give me the striker position but it will be in a minute um absolute insane card right here four star four star low low i don't know why they gave him low low but they did um his stats are out of this world we can go on and on and on about all the great things he did for barcelona we know all the amazing things he did messi welcome to the team there's one position left let's go pick up our last player all right, lads, we got one more position to fill out, okay? You guys know who it is, the big boy Dingo. Now, I do wish I could go out and get his uh, Thunderstruck card, but unfortunately, lads, uh, I'm a little bit short. I got 6 million coins, and his Thunderstruck card goes for like 8 million coins, but I do have enough to pick up uh, his other card, which is good enough, man. Big Ronaldinho going to be in the game. Now, I want to tell you all something really quickly. He's going to be in this team. I want to tell you all something really quick. Uh, Ronaldinho is actually my go. all right? A lot of y'all are going to laugh at me and, and tell me I'm stupid. But Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi is not my GOAT. This is my favorite football player of all time. I absolutely love this player. I love everything he brought to the game. I thought the way he played the game was exciting. I thought the energy he brought to the game was exciting. The way he played, the way he moved, the way he controlled the game. Just the, the love he brought to the game. This is my favorite player of all time. I know Messi was him. I know Ronaldo was him. I know that a lot of people never did things that these players did. But this guy, man... The way I, I don't know, growing up watching him play was just insane. Ronaldinho played 207 games for Barcelona. He played, scored 94 goals. Um, absolute incredible Brazilian player. This is a beautiful, beautiful past and present Barcelona team. But we got a few more positions to fill. We're going to fill a little bit of players on the bench so we have some substitutes. So let's go ahead and grab them. All right, this is where it gets a little bit... 
Um, but R9 played for Barca and Real Madrid. Um, so this is one where it's like a lot of people, Barca fans, will put him on a past and present, and some people wouldn't. It's a very, very slippery slope. I must say to you that this guy at Barcelona was ridiculous. Like, ridiculous. People will argue that maybe some of his best years were Barcelona. Like, this guy was crazy there. Um, what he did at Barcelona was crazy. So, it's just one of those things where Luis Figo and R9 shared both of those teams. Um, but the guy was monstrous at Barcelona, man. He was young, but he was incredible. So, we're going to put him on the bench for Barcelona. Um, some Barca fans expect, like, rate that. Some Barca fans don't, but... He was a Barca fan. He was a Barca player at one point, man. So who else do we want on the bench? We're going to get some more players involved that are currently there. We're going to put the 94 rated Lewandowski on the bench. Um, I think Barca fans are probably really upset with this guy right now because he was supposed to come in and really put the team on his back. And he really hasn't done that, if I'm being honest with you. So I think I speak for a lot of Barca fans. They say Lawan Disney needs to step it up ASAP Barino because he has not been cooking in real life. Another guy that we are going to throw on the bench for Barcelona is going to be a guy that should des that deserves a lot of respect, in my opinion. Um, an absolute stud, hero, amazing player. And he goes by the name of Rafael Marquez, one of the greatest Mexican players to ever touch the field. Rafael Marquez, amazing center back, will be on the bench for us uh, so we can use him as a sub if we need him. But one of the best Mexican players to ever touch the field. One of the best players to ever put a Barca shirt on, if I'm being honest with you. So Rafael Marquez right there for us. We got one more spot. Sergio Biscuits. One of the... Nah, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to get hate for it. I don't care. Probably, probably the greatest center defensive mid to ever play. I know there's Vieira. I know there's Conte. I know there's this guy and that guy. In my opinion, this is one of the greatest, if not the greatest. And in my opinion, he's the greatest, bro. Defensive mid to ever play the sport. I'm sorry, man. He transformed Barcelona with Xavi and Iniesta. He transformed Spain with Xavi and Iniesta. This guy was part of one of the greatest international teams to ever play. This guy was part of one of the greatest club football club teams to ever play. I think Sergio Biscuits is probably the best defensive mid to ever touch the field. I didn't like him. I hated the way he flopped. I hated the way he was always on the floor. But at the end of the day, facts are facts. Spain was incredible. Barcelona was incredible. He was there for all of it. Sergio Biscuits, unbelievable. These are my subs. These are my starting 11. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the past and present Barcelona team. Can we go undefeated in qualifiers with this stud team? Messi, Cruyff, Dingo, Pedri, Xavi, Frankie De Jong, Jordi, Puyo, Arrojo, Ter Stegen, and the one and only Zambrota. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FC Barcelona. We can't do Barcelona without doing Barcelona. Barcelona, uh, Pep Guardiola will be the manager. Pep Guardiola will obviously be the manager of this Barcelona team. Um, absolute incredible manager. What he did with Barcelona was amazing. Y'all know that already, though. We ain't got to speak on that. And we are officially ready. We are officially ready for us to take on Weekend League. All right, lads, we are into our first game with the Barcelona team. And um, we only got one game with Zambrota, and then we have to buy him, or we have to buy Juan Cancelo. We can still change that position up if we want to. This guy has a nice little Harry Kane and a Bruno Fernandez, and uh, we're gonna see how our Barca team cooks up, man. Here we go. Ooh, I like wearing these Barca jerseys in, in game. They look nice in game. Chat, do the Barca jerseys look nice in game? I think they do. Oh, we're moving. Look who it is. It's Messi. It's Messi. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else, boys? Look at us. Messi gets the first one. And who else, man? Who else would have done it? Big Messi with the number 10 on his back as well. And looks up. Uh, Chavi. Chavi to Messi. Messi, Messi, Messi. And got a Messi, got a Messi. And got a Messi, got a Messi. And got a Messi, got a Messi. To Digo. Ah, oh, Messi and Digo. Messi and Digo. Come on. And got a Messi, got a Messi. And got a Messi, got a Messi. Oh, it says Real Madrid. It might say RMA up top. We may have forgot. Uh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, lads, it's fine. Cruyff, 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 Chav, ooh, Chavi moving. Cruyff, Cruyff, and Messi, 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 Messi,
Messi, Messi. And got a Messi, Messi. Messi. Oh, oh, Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, and listen, it says Real Madrid FC right there, but I just want you guys to know that it's just a typo. It, it, it's, it's, it's a visual glitch from EA Sports. It's a visual glitch. It's a visual glitch. Don't worry about it. Anyways, we pick up the big win, man. Messi went crazy with a uh, with a little hat trick for the boys and assisted Dingo for the boys. And uh, we win that one, man. Uh, Visca Barta, man. Okay, guys, we have a little bit of a dilemma. Um, first of all, I'm going to give my boy Arrojo a contract. Uh, Zambrota is officially done here. Um, so we can either bring in Zambrota or Joan Cancelo. Who do you guys want? Joan Cancelo or Zambrota? Because we need to replace. I think we should go for a little bit of Joan Cancelo. Joan Cancelo. Um, you got the 80, the new 89 rated Joan Cancelo right here, man. I think we pick him up. Let's do it, yeah? The new Cancelo. 89 Joan Cancelo at 381,000 coins. Holding the Barca badge as well. Nice picture. That is the new starting 11. And my boy Messi already cooking up some messy things, man. One goal, three assists. You love to see it. We move. All right, guys. We are moving into the second game of qualifiers. Juwon Cancelo is officially with us now. And FC Batha is uh, ready to cook, man. We got the name right. No more visual glitch. My boy has a nice little Pires right there. And a Morata and a Paulo Futuro. A uh, Paulo Futuro. So let's see what we can do here, man. My boy Messi holding on. My boy Messi. My boy Messi looks up. Finds Dingo. The Brasileiro. Graças a Deus, sou do Brasil, porra. He cuts inside. Graças a Deus, sou do Brasil, porra. Vamos, caralho! Ronaldinho! Que golaço de Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho! Que golaço, papá! Please, Cruyff, don't miss. Please, Cruyff, don't miss. Come on, Cruyff! I was about to hit the suey, and I remember you can't do the suey with a Barca shirt on, bro. You cannot do the suey with a Barca shirt on, man. Ain't no way, bro. Come on now. Come on now, man. 2-0, two, two boys. 2-0. Who scored? Who scored? Who scored? Wait, Cruyff and who else? I don't know who... Oh, Pedri's in! Dingo! It's in there! Dingo with a double! Dingo with a double! Cruyff as well! 3-0! 3-0! That's a great ball. This has to be a goal. Here comes the keeper. Got him! And it's in there! Cry for Rode! Cry for Rode! Come on, Cry! Big goal, man. And this Barca team's actually cooking, man. This Barca team is cookies, man. What a team. Jordi Alba's been nice, too. Look at my boy Jordi. Go Jordi Alba going crazy. All right, boys. So we pick up another massive win with Barcelona. The only problem is my boy Messi didn't score. Unbelievable game for Cruyff, unbelievable game for Dingo, and we, we remain undefeated with the Barcelona squad. 2-0, baby. Let's go.